Welcome to EIF Lesotho Success Story. This program is aimed at highlighting some of the success stories of the EIF project in Lesotho. EIF is an aid for trade partnership in action for the least developed countries, LDCs. The EIF is a global partnership involving LDCs, donors and international organizations which support LDCs to be more active players in the global trading system by helping them tackle obstacles to trade. In Lesotho, the project is hosted by the government of Lesotho through the Ministry of Trade and Industry. The main purpose of this project is to make sure that trade is mainstreamed into the national development strategies. Two is to set up the structures needed to ensure that trade is being implemented in the uh, country. The other one is making sure that we build the capacity to trade. Lesotho, as one of the LDCs, has also very fortunately benefited from this project. Currently, we have had the EIF Tier 1, uh, which was basically, um, as I mentioned, the mainstreaming of the trade uh, policy, the trade uh, activities in the country. And of course, to ensure that also we build up the capacity in the country. That will help us to sustain and develop uh, the trade uh, development agenda. But over and above that, we already have uh, the Tier 2 uh, project on EIF, which is now uh, in, in action, which basically works on uh, the commercialization of the agro and agro processing, the agricultural uh, activities. We have by now uh, have been able to, with the help of this uh, donor-funded uh, project, installed by now uh, about 40 uh, greenhouses which of course we have seen uh, the harvest uh, currently going on uh, on cucumbers, tomatoes and other uh, cash crops which uh, we have helped uh, the associations, the cooperatives and the individual uh, uh, citizens who are uh, engaged on agricultural uh, production. Several departments within the Ministry of Trade and Industry were also beneficiaries in this project. Among them, the One Stop Business Facilitation Center. The One Stop Business Facilitation Center, OBFC, in the Ministry of Trade and Industry offers a number of services to the public at large. One Stop Business Facilitation Center has been established as a result of the DTIS of 2003 and as a result of that in 2007 the Ministry of Trade and Industry Cooperatives and Marketing came up with uh, what at the time was called Trade and Investment Facilitation Center and which was to be one-stop business facilitation center in 2009. EIF will remain very relevant to the one-stop uh, business facilitation center as it is one of those uh, projects that initially uh, were meant to facilitate trade. So one-stop is one of those uh, uh, areas where Lesotho is facilitating trade and investment and we will continuously work with EIF even to assist those projects that EIF is coming up with to facilitate their uh, movement of goods outside the country when they have to export to also um, educate the small and medium enterprises that EIF is assisting to be able to register their companies, to be able to get licenses, to be able to send their goods abroad. The Department of Standard and Food Safety is also a beneficiary to the EIF project in Lesotho. With the new DTIS, the emphasis was that Lesotho should have its own basic 
infrastructure. To this effect, we have been able to develop the law uh, establishing the infrastructure for Lesotho. We even now have a capital project financed by the government of Lesotho to develop this important infrastructure to, to, to sort of also contribute to better environment, investment environment. We have also been capacitated as a department by going into you know, several training tours in, in Kenya, in South Africa, for instance. We have also been participating in the National uh, Steering Committee that, that is you know, the higher uh, body that governs the area of the the mandate of the marketing department in the Ministry of Trade and Industry is to facilitate marketing of agricultural products and non-agricultural products in Lesotho. At this stage, we have been working with the EIF, Enhanced Integrated Framework uh, Project, uh, which has actually facilitated uh, very much some of the work which we are doing uh, by providing technology for the farmers, uh, which in fact has uh, improved uh, the quality of the produce uh, compared to the conventional uh, production of uh, cucumbers, tom tomatoes, and green peppers. But that technology, adoption of that technology through uh, the, the, the project has facilitated the farmers to produce a quality produce. Uh, the project has also uh, assisted, assisted in providing, or rather to, 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 to facilitate the establishment of a, a, a product a, a, a packaging center, whereby uh, all the produce from the greenhouses will be uh, sorted and packaged uh, in a market center. The Department of Trade is responsible for formulation of trade-related policies together with the laws, the relevant laws. And so far, we have worked with the Enhanced Integrated Framework in many areas. I would first of all mention that they were able to help us develop the consumer protection policy which is basically uh, meant for educating consumers about their rights and responsibilities and also to help the business community in observing the values of ethical trading. Given that the project has two phases and we hope that we will uh, further engage the integrated framework in developing the export strategy so that Lesotho made products can access international markets because currently, like I mentioned, we are negotiating uh, market access for these products and having that strategy will be quite useful for our exporters to tap into international markets. As much as the project is being delivered in Lesotho through the Ministry of Trade and Industry, the project is also involved in private sector strategy, improvements and assistance. Another example would be LRA. Before the DTIS uh, was made, there was no LRA and it was realized that most of the issues of customs and taxation issues are not uh, really catered for correctly by government. And then the DTIS recommended that LRA be formed. We can name the another other projects like the uh, PSC project, which is a World Bank supported project. The project which is uh, been doing pilots of fruit tree production, apples, cherries, and the many. So, our role mainly is to make sure that, as we have said, we are saying EIF is a catalytic uh, project. We make sure that we just come up with those opportunities and when opportunities are there, we let uh, the role players to make sure that they grab those opportunities.
Lesotho Chamber of Commerce and Industry is a business membership organization with four categories of membership, being associate memberships, affiliate memberships, ordinary members, as well as honorary members. This organization is also a beneficiary to the EIF project. All our clusters have uh, different sectors. We have agriculture, we have transport, we have about 32 different clusters. So with EIF, it becomes sector specific. Sector specific in the sense that uh, uh, there is tourism, there is textile, and there is a Greek. And on a Greek, uh, there has been some milestones which have been reached by uh, uh, or through EIF. It, it has been very uh, beneficial to the private sector, the, the, the role that EIF has played. Because most of the things that they, they have done or they, that they are doing, they are still doing, uh, have had some positive uh, response from the private sector, especially their needs for the economic growth. The reason why I'm saying that is um, uh, it has been a known fact that uh, for many years we've always been told that uh, the private sector is the engine of growth. As the Private Sector Foundation of Lesotho, we are the partners to the Ministry of Trade and Industry. Hence, it was easier for us to take part into the project of uh, Enhanced Integrated Framework. Currently, we have a representative in the steering committee which governs uh, Enhanced Integrated Framework project. The project of EIF is playing a critical role to the economy of Lesotho because it's going to address some of the supply side constraints faced by the private sector. So I really think that EIF is very, very important. It's going to address those challenges faced by the private sector. We now take time to visit some of the places where the EIF project played a critical role in their success. The site here is mainly for mushroom production. This is whereby the government of, of Lesotho through the Ministry of Agriculture is entitled to produce spawns for farmers to grow and grow, to go and grow mushrooms at the uh, different places. The project started in 2007 uh, with the funds from IF. Through IF funds, uh, we were able to uh, rebuild this premises here. There, were, there, there, there was no buildings yet. Even those that were existing were so much vandalized that uh, had no use. We have grouped ourselves in small numbers and our number consists of 16 people. Before this uh, grouping, we were already had a group where now we were owning chickens. But we didn't succeed because we didn't have a market for those chickens. And then we had somebody who advised us to divert to this mushroom. And then we started to produce mushrooms. This year, I got an assistance from EIF. They gave me this structure, the greenhouse structure and the net. Um, and uh, they have helped me construct it. They have given me the seedlings, they, give me, they have given me the chemicals. And on a full-time base, uh, quite regularly, there's an agronomist uh, visiting me to monitor the progress on the field. And we are doing very well, and we look forward to a very good harvest. I've been assisted by EIF with the, with the hail net and the greenhouse. 
and uh, I haven't had a greenhouse before, so I was delighted to have uh, to have the opportunity and be chosen as one of the beneficiaries uh, from the EIF project. And uh, I'm intending to work with them as long as uh, they are here because so far I'm happy with uh, what, what is happening. All I can say is that we are very thankful for EIF for granting us these facilities which have helped us to enhance our productivity by this much. And we, we have seen that our quality is very big. Uh, we had problems with marketing but it was due to the fact that neither we or anybody was sure how the productivity would go. UNDP is the EIF donor facilitator Lesur, and let's get that perspective on the EIF program. As the donor facilitator, UNDP functions as the link between the donors and the government, primarily to support the government's efforts to mainstream trade into national development plans. The EIF project within Lesotho can be called successful in that it has at least raised awareness, brought together a number of stakeholders and other ministerial counterparts and successfully placed trade in the national development plan. It has raised that awareness for making trade as the vehicle for poverty reduction. Going forward with EIF program, I would like to emphasize that it would be good if the departments and the sections within the, the government ministries work together so that uh, the efforts are consolidated and it's easier for us to mobilize resources. The involvement of the planning section and the national planning uh, at the Ministry of uh, planning, the Development Planning is very critical because they are the ones who know the direction in terms of uh, what is it that the government wants to achieve. <coughs> Number two, most of the projects who, which were started through the donor funds, when the donors leave or when the projects phase out, normally is the, uh, the dead end of such projects. So I would encourage or I warn maybe the government that it is good for us to scale up those catalytic projects whereby the development partners come and uh, pilot for us and if the project is good or the program is good ours is to make sure that we continue and sustain it beyond the project life dr maruping is the former ambassador of lesotho geneva permanent mission as well as the former chairman of eif board globally Let's get his views about the EIF project. Well, I think Lesotho is showing its commitment uh, to the enhanced integrated framework uh, initiative as a, a catalyst for the least developed countries uh, to, to set on a path of uh, sustained and uh, balanced you know, strong, sustained and balanced uh, economic growth that would lead to socio-economic development, poverty reduction and human development, using trade as the vehicle uh, of that growth. So that shows commitment and uh, it offered itself uh, to be used as a platform for that purpose. EIF Lesotho has truly contributed positively in improving lives of the Basotho people. Besides the unavoidable challenges that were experienced during the implementation, the project has indeed been a success. And we thank the donor organizations for their support and hope to continue further with the project going forward. <laughs>